another 2016 Honda. So this one also had another culprit for a refrigerant leak. Uh, the expansion valve. So the expansion valve on this one, you can see the black oil with the dust buildup was all over actually. And back on the pipe that you can see my clamp hooked onto was all oily and black back there and covered with oil, covered with dust. See that liquid line down there? How it's not bright and shiny, it actually has a dust film on it. So that was uh, one problem. And then the condenser, uh, you have a little bit of a, you can see the little shading of the, I don't know, yeah, you can see a little bit in the camera, the shading of the oil spot here. A little shading of the oil spot here. This is the back side. This is the clean side. Okay, so you have the leak, the leak, and then here's the front side from the leak that was there and the leak that was there. Another Honda. The one with the extended warranty that's supposed to be going up to, okay, I was just told by this shop manager, he said, you heard they went up to 100,000 miles for these old cars that they have defective condensers on. A little gray, not horribly bad, tiny, tiny little, really tiny metal flakes in here, microscopic tiny. But another thing you look for is how hot did this, how long did this run low on refrigerant? Well, let's take a look inside the port. You see how dark gray that port is? That port is supposed to be clean and shiny, not dark and gray. So that's what happens when you start running low on refrigerant. And it starts overheating and you start getting wear and you get that little fine aluminum in dust. The port coming out has gone through the filters and everything and so, the, so it's a little cleaner. But the port from the compressor going into the condenser, that's the one that shows the most dark and dirty. So that's one of the things to look for and you let your customer know, well, Mr. Customer, you have been driving this for quite a while while it was low on refrigerant and I know you didn't know it, but you were also starving your compressor for oil and starving your compressor for cooling at the same time while you were trying to operate it because it had a leak in it and it ran low on refrigerant and an AC compressor relies on what? a full charger refrigerant to bring all the cool spray of oil all back to the compressor again to cool it down one and lubricate it but without a full charger refrigerant it doesn't all make it back to the compressor to do its job so on these hondas this is the first one i've seen leaking like this so that's a new one for me if anybody else has seen these on these honda accords like this leaking let me know in the message below and uh, that'll be about it yf refrigerant so luckily it's just under a pound so it's not incredibly expensive and i'll catch you on the next video